Hello students. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite new cool websites that I like to use for coding. And since we're going to be starting with PHP, I thought this would be a good code editor for us to work with over these first few weeks as we really start to get familiar with the syntax of the language. So if you haven't already, uh, you'll want to go to rep repl.it and once you create your free account, you can go ahead and get started by clicking the new REPL button and it's going to ask you which language you would like to work in. And this is really cool because there's so many different languages here. I mean, there is a ridiculous amount of languages here. But what we want to do for PHP is choose the PHP web server. Now PHP is a back-end server programming language and therefore you can't just run a code editor on your local computer um, like you would if you're creating HTML, CSS, and JavaScript only. So in this case we need to be working with a web server whether that is a web server that we have a hosted account online with which is what I recommend and we'll talk about that at uh, a future point in this course or you can also install a web server locally on your own computer and de develop PHP files and work with databases and things like that. But that can get a little complicated for those of you who um, might not want to have to basically run your own web server. So again, this is kind of a good starting point. If you already have PHP uh, installed on your local computer, by all means, you are welcome to do this on your local computer and um, and then just maybe copy and paste your code over or send me a working URL and your actual code so I can review it. But let's go ahead and get started with a very simple example on how you can get up and running. So after you select PHP web server, um, put something, they're going to randomly generate some funny little name for your um, REPL, but I would like you to create something that is more meaningful. So let's say you're doing homework one, you can just put homework one in there. And then that way, when you're looking at your list of REPLs, you won't, you know, the little random names don't mean anything. And um, other than something fun, but if you actually are looking at them and see homework one, then it'll make more sense. Okay, so this is the REPL environment. Um, it's probably pretty familiar looking to um, CodePen, which you might have used in other classes, but this is a lot more powerful than CodePen uh, because you can actually have some file management in REPL. And that's why I like to use it because students frequently get tripped up by file management so while we're working with understanding the language, we can actually just focus on coding and we can then look at um, more best practices for file management and things like that in, as we get more involved in the course. Okay, so when you first create this REPL and select your PHP web server, what you'll see here is in the left-hand window, you have the file manager. So it's going to create a file called index.php for you and this is going to be your starting file in all of the programs that you create. You're welcome to create additional files but always start with index.php um, just because that's the way the system likes it. You can um, upload things. So let's say you have an image that you want to upload or something like that. Um, you can go to the little three dots and choose upload file and you can upload an image. Let me go ahead and grab one from my local computer here so we can practice with that. Okay, I'm just going to grab a little picture here. Here, this ab abominable movie picture. So there it is. Uh, that's a pretty long name. I'm just going to rename it here by right uh, clicking on the dot 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 and I'm going to just call it abominable. Hard word to say. Okay, so 
I can also um, add a file and maybe I want to call it style.css. Okay, so I can put my CSS in here and I'm just going to do something very simple here for my CSS. And I'm going to say something like background color equals, oh, what looks good? Um, sure, why don't we stick with aqua? Okay, nothing too exciting there. Um, so in my index.php, the first thing I'm going to want to do is pull in that CSS file. And that CSS file can be pulled in using the link tag within your uh, head section. So let's go ahead and get the format for that and put that. I like to put it right underneath the, the title. So let's go ahead and do that. Ink. All right, so let me see if I run this. It does not look like I have done that correctly. Hold, please. 